Here is the new turbocharger going into a 2013 Ford Edge with a 2 liter EcoBoost engine and it's being replaced because the old turbocharger, uh, the wastegate had failed. One thing to note if you have quote unquote wastegate rattle is there is a little bit of play with the new turbocharger using fueler gauges that play is only about 20 to 21 thousandths of an inch. There were just about, yeah, that's pretty tight there, and that's 21 thousandths of an inch. You'll also notice on the new wastegate linkage, there is just a little bit of play in there. Let me get a better angle there. Go ahead and do that, Doug. So there is a little bit of play. On the one that's failed, which we'll show in a little bit, the, uh, this linkage here had worn out the armature so that it was an oblong shape and uh, there was probably at least an eighth of an inch of play. Now even though there is a little bit of play on the, the wastegate there, once you put vacuum pressure on there, it is very tight. So if you're having wastegate rattle, I would recommend putting a vacuum pump on there first so that you can see whether or not it's sealing, how much play you have, and so forth. And we'll start the next part of the video in just a second. Oh, one last thing. Uh, don't make the mistake that I did. There are two different uh, part numbers for the replacement turbo. And the difference between the two is the depth on the flange where it bolts to the catalytic converter. For the later models, you have a depth of around four tenths of an inch. For the earlier models, it's less than half that. So it would be a good idea to make sure you measure the gap before you order your part. It wouldn't hurt to unbolt the, the uh, catalytic converter from the front you have to unbolt the two retaining bolts uh, underneath the catalytic converter too and you can move the cat up just to get a measurement on the depth of that flange. Now we're looking at the defective turbo. With the vacuum pump I fully actuated the rod and as you can see there is a lot of play in that linkage. That linkage is completely worn out. And if we look inside the turbo itself there is our waste gate and with that being fully activated, the, the actuator, you can see that there is no way in heck you were getting full boost. To get full boost, that wastegate would have to be completely closed. Now, for a short-term fix, and of course you can only do this if you unbolt your um, catalytic converter to check to see if that plunger is fully covering the exhaust port but you could adjust the armature here it comes adjusted from the factory you're not supposed to change it well if your wastegate is completely shot like this you have no choice um, so what you'd want to do in that case is adjust these nuts just to the point where that wastegate is snugly closed maybe using a fueler gauge you can check to see when that is fully closed uh, just a thought that I had if anybody wanted to go to the trouble and you'd have to, you know, have a good machine shop that could do the work for you. But it would be possible, I would guess, to find a new fitting for this and to maybe weld some new material in there, drill a new hole to uh, take care of that slop on that end. I'm not quite sure what you would do on this end, aside from somehow maybe cutting off that button on the back of the linkage and welding on a new one. Um, to get that done, you could actually remove the uh, exhaust manifold side of the turbo without having to completely remove the turbo and have to replace all the seals. If your turbo isn't leaking at all, depending on the, the part number, a lot of them there's just one nut right there. You could unbolt that, separate the two halves of your turbo after 
taking off the linkage and removing the uh, heat shield, of course. In that case, the only thing that you would really need to be a new manifold gasket and maybe that new round gasket for the catalytic converter. Um, I'd be interested to, to try something like this, not with this turbo, of course, because that's my $250 core deposit. Uh, but if it was to fail again, I might be tempted just to see if I could get by with that instead of buying a new $1,000 turbocharger. So there you have it. If you're getting that P0299 code and you want to be absolutely certain that uh, it is failed, then you would have to, and I'll show you one more time, I think the pump leaked out, the vacuum pump, but there we are. Now it looks closed, but as you can see, there is a lot of play in there. So, good luck.